I'm Jennifer and this is Emily and I don't think you're gonna be able to see her because I think I have it cropped off. Um, I am first going to do a drawing for the bra ham. Um, this one I use, I stuffed with beans. Um, it's also not super super tight so if you wanted to, um, whoever wins this, if you actually do want to fill it up or change it, there's just hand stitching right around here that you can take out and you can put whatever you'd like into it. So. Um, we have all of our entries right here. I'm going to toss them around. They're all separate ones, right, Emily? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Close your eyes and pick one. Okay. Let's see who the winner is. And it is Marla Miller. So I will let you know that you won, and you can give me your uh, address, and I will ship this to you. Um, just as a backup in case Marla Miller does not... Um, claim her prize. Pick one. Okay. If she doesn't, the runner-up is Vaster Blue. So um, you'll hopefully Mar Marla will uh, be available for it. Other than that, I've got these two. Put those on my desk. Thank you. Okay, so. Um, I just did a video a couple days ago about changing a cup size, um, basically grading a cup size. Now, um, in case you actually need to, let's say, take this cup and grade it for a smaller wire. So let's just say that you've measured both of your wires and one wire is a half an inch. The one you want to use is a half an inch smaller. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that half an inch and we're going to distribute that. So yes, we can easily change it on the top, but ideally we want to change the volume inside the cup. So when you're doing kind of a, you want to keep your size cup the same, but you want to go for a smaller wire, what we actually need to do is we need to distribute this half an inch all around the cup. So for here, I'm looking at the seams that we have. We have one seam here and one seam here. Um, and then we also have the top and the bottom. So what I'd probably do is I would consider this four points. So we have, and actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do these points. So we have two points here, and each one of those seams has two edges. So we would split this half an inch by four. So that would give us uh, an eighth of an inch change. So eighth, eighth, quarter, eighth, eighth. So we'll have a one-eighth of an inch difference change on each one of these cut pieces. So what we're going to do is we really just need to make a change on the cup and kind of going back to nothing. Um, Emily, can you go get me a one of my rulers over there? My small rulers and then get me one of the big curves there too. Yep, there you go. Come on. Okay, so we have a half an inch, so I'm going to take and we'll say that we graded up the cup. So like we did on the previous version, we graded up the cup and um, we're just, we're gonna go down one wire. So I'm gonna kinda make an eighth of an inch change right there and an eighth of an inch change right here. Um, let's see, we also have this inside piece I'm not gonna touch. Um, and then this piece over here, which is right here, I'm going to change this one by an eighth and this one by an eighth. So let's say that you actually need to go down two wires. So your wire line difference could be one inch and it might be, might be more than that. So we're going to say that, let's just say you had one inch and you need to split it up into four places you would then have a quarter of an inch change. So this wouldn't be an eighth, this would be a quarter. Um, so that's just kind of how you would change it. Now you can also, let's just say it is five eighths, so it's 15 millimeters. And so it's a slightly different amount that you need. If it doesn't go evenly around the cup, you can also shorten it at the top of the wire line on the cup. But for here, I'm gonna take, and I'm basically just going to smooth this back into the cup. And so this is for that, just that one cup change. 
So blend it back. So you kind of come to a nice smooth area. Okay, so that there, that changes it for one cup size. So let's do a second one. So let's just say it's two cup sizes. So I'm going to do another mark of another eighth of an inch there. And an eighth of an inch is about um, three millimeters, I think. No, yeah, about three millimeters. Trying to do your math. I'm trying to do the conversion because it's not my forte. So you're down here. Now we do need to make sure that this stays a nice smooth line. So we have here, um, I'm going to try and take that quarter back kind of to where this is. So this now here would be for two wires difference. So you're not really in changing anything in the middle of the cup. You're keeping that volume the same. And then out here, I'm going to take Changing a cup size hard? Well, not too much. You just gotta look at it mathematically. And then once you're done with this, anytime you make changes, you're gonna wanna make sure that everything walks. So all the seam lengths are still gonna be the same. So where we have some angles over here, you may discover that they don't quite line up, so you may end up needing to make one of these cup pieces a little bit longer. So now you can see for two cup sizes smaller, we would come over here and here, here and there. And so that allows the volume in the middle of the cup to stay the same while you're changing the wire line on the outside. Um, and this is also kind of what people could refer to as being omega, which is basically meaning that the volume on the inside of the cup is bigger than the wire. Um, and it just means you're fuller, you're rounder, um, that's all it really means. It doesn't really mean anything in particular. It just means that the ratio of breast to wire is a little bit different than the normal. So I know this was a very quick video, but hopefully you guys understood a little bit about what I did as I took and I distributed that wire line around the outside. Now I could easily go in and change the top also if I needed, if I didn't really need to increase that volume in the middle and I just needed to kind of shorten the wire line. Um, but there you go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you would like to have more content like this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, or leave a comment below. Thank you very much.